they know my favorite song. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, they say that comedy is sort of tragedy plus time. That's like how you sort of define it. And uh, I've had a lot of sad things happen to me recently, so I thought, you know, I'll just air that out all on you guys. Uh, the first thing that happened is uh, my parents are getting divorced uh, after 36 years, so uh, it's really sad, yeah. Oh man, I'm bringing the mood down really hard. Normally people, normally people cheer at that moment, actually. Yeah, well, there we go, yeah. Woo! Yeah, divorce! Yeah, yeah, no, I, I mean, actually, I think it's, it's kind of a good thing because my dad, I think it, the technical term is a, a cunt. Um, no, no, he's, he's fine, he's okay. But uh, yeah, I mean, the weirdest part about the whole thing is that they live in the States, right? And, and I kind of had no idea that it was going on. And I got this call completely out of the blue from my mom on Facebook Messenger, right? <laughs> that's, that's not the weird part, by the way. Uh, yeah, so the weird thing is, is like you have this call with your mom where she says like, you know, um, you know, we're divorcing after 40 years. Your dad had an affair, he cheated on me. Your brother's not talking to him anymore. I have to sell your childhood home. Uh, you're, Dog's probably gonna die soon. <laughs> it's like, it's weird to have a call like that and then you hang up and Facebook gives you that screen that's like, how would you rate that call out of five stars? <laughs> You're like, actually, no, no, too good, Facebook, not gonna lie. That's, that's a one star call right there. You know, it wasn't really your fault, but taking it out on you, I guess. Um, but no, I mean, it, it's actually okay because um, my dad is sort of the definition of vain. And uh, you may be asking, well, Hayden, what is the definition of vain? And I will tell you, vain is defined as showing an excessively high opinion of one's appearance, abilities, or worth. And that is my dad to the letter. And I will tell you how I know this. Because recently, they had their court case, right? And the judges gave him a, a set date of when he had to move out of the house, right? And it's important to mention that my parents' home is full of random shit that my dad has collected over his lifetime. He has a collection of bagpipes and swords. And he does not know how to play the bagpipes or play with swords. He was the worst fucking dad ever, man. And uh, so the house is like full of shit, his shit, right? And my mom, she goes away for the weekend. She tells him like, look, you can take anything you want in that house. I don't want any of it. I'm just like, she's so sick of his shit, right? And uh, so what does my vain ass dad take? He takes one rug, one mirror, and 32 photos of himself. <laughs> Not photos of him with his kids. No, 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 no. Just him. That is some vain ass shit right there. You're starting to see why my mom uh, divorced him. Uh, but no, I, I think actually to round off the marriage stuff, and then we'll get into sadder stuff in a minute. Uh, I think actually divorce is a good thing, right? It means like a bad marriage is finishing. And, you know, in this case, it was just my dad finishing on another woman's back, but that's <laughs> neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. Uh, yeah, so sticking with the sad theme, um, I, I have a story that happened quite a while ago. It was very sad at the time, but actually, you know, comedy, tragedy plus time. I think it's kind of going to be funny now, and I've never actually told it on stage before, but I figured, you know, this is an open mic, so uh, why, not, why not show it? So should I, should I do the joke, guys? What do you think? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. Uh, so, just remember, you signed up for this. Uh, this is the story of the day my dog died. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't like dead animal humor, uh, yeah. No, uh, it's fine. It's actually, it's fine. You'll see. So, it's a few years ago, right? And I'm living in the States with my mom and then my fucking dad. And, uh, and yeah, so we have a dog. He's on his last legs. You know, he, he'd had a long, good life, but, you know, it's his time, right? And one night we go to bed and he's sitting in the in the little bed next to my parents, uh, my parents' bed, and my dad wakes up and sees him the next morning, and he's passed away in his sleep, yeah? So, important to mention, he was happy, long life, died in his sleep. The dude was living the dream, right? Well, not living the dream, but you know what I mean. Uh, so, my, my dad, like, he brings him downstairs, and we're, we're all kind of in the garage, because we didn't actually know what to do with him, because, like, we live in the middle of a city at this time, right? And this is pre-COVID America, so, like, we gotta be in the office. So we're like, fuck, we all gotta go to work, and we can't, like, just, we don't have a backyard, we can't just bury him, you know? So we gotta figure something out. And we're in the garage, and we all look over at our freezer. <laughs> I know. I didn't like it either. And uh, so my dad has the unlikely time to, uh, uh, you know, job to fit this dog in there, right? And he's just trying to shove him in, but, you know, Hank had sort of died mid-stretch in the night, so he's all long and tubular-like, and rigor mortis had set in, so he's just, 
he's not fitting. He's just not playing ball, you know? And so they, they finally get him in, and we all go to work. And a few hours later, I'm like, okay, i got to figure this out. So I, I look up an agency that just, like, deals with the remains. They didn't really say much else on the website. Uh, so I, I call the guy, and he's like, oh, shit, I can be there in 20 minutes. That's how he sounded as well. And uh, so I race home, and I open up the freezer, and Hank's still there, just chilling. <laughs> and uh, so I, 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 pull, I pull him out, and I sit him down in our driveway while I'm putting the food back in, right? And the art, yeah, some of you are already getting ahead of me here. And uh, so I, I'm, like, putting the food in, and I hear behind me this clink, 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 and I look around, and Hank is just rolling down our driveway <laughs> out into the street. And I'm like, yeah, so I'm running after him, and I get him, I grab him right as I, I, the guy is getting out of his car, the remains guy. And I, all I can say to him in this awkward interaction is, like, this is Hank. He's a good boy. He just takes a minute to warm up to people. <laughs> all right, that's my time, guys. You've been great. Thanks a lot. <laughs>